Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. I just had to restart this whole reaction from the intro, which it probably wasn't our better one of our better ones, to be honest, <laughs> because my sound has decided that, oh, the new default sound will be going through this item, which I don't even know what it is because I don't understand technology. We are reacting to a show about technology, and I don't understand it. Maybe it can help us. I have a YouTube channel with almost 90,000 subscribers now, and I don't understand any technology, and when shit goes wrong, I flip out. He does. So if you hear something disconnect he on this particular does. reaction, I promise you I will turn into Frogman. Frog I will man. hop around this room like a frog and go, Bleh. Now you're going to turn into that guy from Wild Thornberry. You're just gonna go like, ah! <laughs> is that is that the guy who's like, ski ba da ba 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 That guy. Oh my That's god! It, it's you might be right. I'm just tired of it. So, and I had one subscriber. It was either on Patreon or on YouTube on one of the community posts, but he mentioned getting a uh, USB uh, hub that has its own power source, and initially that mm -hmm. fixed the problem. Very well. And then, like, months later, it was like, oh, it's just going to do its own thing again. And then now it's like the my default input setting has always been the vo uh, voice mod. And now it's like, oh, we want to connect it to this. It changes it on its own. It drives me crazy. Like, once I have my settings where I want them, like, I don't want to change them. Yeah. And, but this computer starts changing it for you. AI. Am I the only one that like this? It drives drives them nuts. I mean, I'm sure my some of my audio settings drive them nuts. So I like that the little <laughs> like lines bounce when you talk. Yeah, well, that's just letting you know it's working. I know, but it makes me want to be like. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just dead straight. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So this is uh, season three, episode six, last episode of the season. It's called Calendar, Calendar Geeks. Geeks. Yeah. I wonder what that's. I hope it's about Christmas or Halloween. Maybe the Maybe IT the crowd holidays. will have a Christmas special coming up. I don't know. I because I I have season four. Have they done? I can't holidays? remember if there's a season five or not. It's. Uh, I think I might have one, but it is yeah. there a season five special? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But uh, let's, let's get into Calendar Geeks. You ready to finish up Season 3? I'm ready. All right. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's go. Let's check it out. Long time. It's a very complicated problem. There's been a lot of chabarangs in your hard drive. I'm sure I'll get that attention. Ugh. Frustrating. Come on, work. Work. He's very Not distracted. Do you know anything about yeah. digital cameras? Oh, Roy might. I do, as it happens. I'm an amateur photographer, actually. I just got this new one, but it's really complicated. Oh, that's fixed. It wasn't turned on. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't turned on. He was just sitting there to like yeah. chat with the girl. And then a pretty, a pretty girl, another pretty girl was like, "Help me with my camera." And he's like, "All right, your computer's fixed. Uh, Let me move on." At least Roy's got his priorities straight. <laughs> Sorry. We have a daughter. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I don't even know why I got rid of my old one. It was working perfectly fine. Oh yeah, well these all look good. <laughs> What's going on with this fella? Look at him! He's pulling a mad face. He looks completely mental. That's Dave, my brother. He's got a very serious condition. Uh-oh. <laughs> when I said mental there, I meant mental in the sense of intelligent. You know, like he's, he's a big reader. He has boss eyedness. Boss eyedness? He's permanently boss eyed. That must be a big pain in the arse. It is, and the terrible thing is, is people think there's actually something funny about this. No! Who could think there's something funny about this? Oh my God. But 
It's a proper condition, and he he really suffers. He really. <laughs> oh, hey. Let's just give anything if Dave could have a normal life. Oh, he know. Kimberly, are you okay? <laughs> it's just Dave. Oh, poor Dave. <sighs> <laughs> I've got a great idea. Why don't we all try and do something to raise money for people like Dave? Yeah, You're like, oh, we must be able to think of something. Like, like, <laughs> right. yeah, like a no. fun run. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> or a nude calendar. <gasps> uh, oh. I would say that's maybe even a better idea than the fun run idea. We could call it the girls of the seventh floor. Oh, yeah. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> Strong team. Roy could be the photographer. That was a very quick the... leap. They're like, it we was. can do a fun run. We can post nude. Yeah! Woo! Like that's a show. That's that's a show scenario because that would not actually happen. Do you want me to make you a nude calendar? Is that I was just about to going? ask you that. Yes! Yes! <laughs> do you? Of course. Oh my god. They can't see it though. No, we're it's not only selling. For me. We're not selling. It's only for me. Calendar. Let's make that clear. I mean, I would do it and sh show them if it was me. <laughs> if you get, do a keen boomer nude calendar. Yeah. Yay. You know what the bottom half looks like. We can. Yeah, but not like you each, personally. I'm saying for each holiday, we can put like a pumpkin in front of your. Uh, you were thing. not putting. Listen. A Christmas listen, tree. Listen, hon. You are not putting any pumpkins near any Listen, hon. anything associated with me. I'll paint a little pumpkin on your butt cheek for Halloween. It'd be cute. You're gonna put a pumpkin on my butt cheek? Yeah. That's the tattoo. I'm gonna get a pumpkin is... right on my butt cheek. You and your pumpkins. I swear. Photographs. Because I said I was an amateur photographer. Come on, guys, let's do a brainstorm. I'd really like to be November if that's okay. Can I be April? Yes. <laughs> oh, and in October we've got to have a Halloween thing. Oh, yes. No, it's. Guys in heaven. Oh my god. Foresightedness is something which affects one percent of Britons. It doesn't appear eyesight, and yet people with foresight are routinely discriminated against. Just like is that a real thing? It should be stopped. <laughs> no. That's right. We're looking at you. <laughs> it's not funny, Jen. <laughs> it's a very serious condition. I know it is. I know it is. I'm sorry. No, this is exactly the kind of discrimination that we are fighting against. And and what do you need from me? I just need a little time off work. Um we're trying to raise some money for the boss side. <laughs> oh, who? Who is? Just me and some people. Oh, yeah, who? Uh, some people from upstairs. You wouldn't know them. Oh, OK, and what are you going to do? Well... Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hiya! What are you talking about? Uh, uh, nothing. I'm just talking to Jen about a private project. What is it? <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just a, a private project <laughs> I'm doing that's private. What is it? It's just a thing. It's just a big bloody pain in the arse thing that I might do. Oh, you are being modest. It's a very kind thing you're doing. Very generous, very charitable. I really am impressed, you know. Good for you. What's he done? Persuaded all the girls on Seven to do a new calendar for charity. <laughs> How does he guess that? He has to know somehow. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, he's right. Oh, he, oh, how the hell? No, no. Oh, he made it sound sleazy. It is sleazy. Oh, what kind of man would want to photograph a bunch of beautiful women without any clothes on, Roy? The kind of man who wants to help people, Jen. <laughs> I find it very offensive. No, it's going to be tasteful. No, it's not. You're right, it's not. It's not. It's going to be rude. It's going to be sexy. All the things that men like, and it's going to make a million quid for that charity. No, 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 absolutely not. Why not? Taking your clothes off. If it's, if it's unemployed men or old ladies from Yorkshire, it's fun. If it's sexy women, it's not fun. It's oppression. No, I will not give you any time off for this. 
Well, okay, well then, I, I will do it in my own time. Oh, Roy, you're behaving like a horny teenager. No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's a second grade that is. comeback right there. Okay, try and have some dignity. No, no, I won't. I won't. I won't. Sit uh, down. No, I'm not going to sit down. I'm not going to listen to you. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Jen, and it's for charity, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Try and stop me. You're embarrassing yourself. Roy, stop it. Oh Come back here. Conversation. That's serious. Any advice? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that was Frogman. <laughs> that was Frogman. Frog Did man. you see that top? Look at this. Yeah, that was a Frogman. Uh... Yeah. Thank you. I'm really pleased we've had this conversation. That's serious. Any advice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he forgot the. Uh, Roy, thank God you're here. Jen's just been telling us how the calendar would have been sexist. Oh, has she? How has much she? better if we use old ladies or unemployed men in it. Oh, good. <laughs> she thinks we'll make a lot more money because of the R factor. The R factor? Yeah, the R factor. The thing that makes you go, oh, when you hear about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but will anyone actually want to see old women or destitute men with no clothes on? <laughs> Won't that just make people go, ah, rather than, ah? Oh. <laughs> Guys, I've got a great idea. Why don't we all ask our grands to do the calendar? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a great idea. Oh, lady, you were just so full of ideas. But can I... Hold on one second. What's our theme? Isn't our theme girls of the seventh floor? That was a very strong theme. Yes, Roy, but now the theme can be grands of the girls of the seventh floor. Oh, yeah, I don't want to take photos of grannies. <laughs> this, this could do very well, Roy. This could be tasteful, like the one Helen Mirren did. Old ladies, <laughs> pot plants covering their bits, you know, the sort of thing. Mm -hmm. An erotic calendar the whole family could enjoy. <laughs> Roy, you can't drop out now. Douglas has already paid for the studio time. What? Now it sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, did you want to see the girls half naked? No, but nobody would uh, buy the second one. There's actually a very famous calendar of old, of old ladies that are naked. But I they, think I've it's heard like comical. Like they have pumpkins right. on their boobs. They have a pumpkin on their boobs. Yeah, yeah, I think I've heard of this, which is it sounds. I've never seen it, it but it sounds weird. it sounds funny though. I must admit, but I, mean, I don't want either. Here's of the thing, though: if you're a sales, if you're a salesperson. Do you think more people would buy the uh, nude girls of the seventh floor or nude old ladies and old men of the seventh floor? Do you know what calendar actually gets bought a lot hmm. in this community? Hmm. The firefighters do a calendar. Sure, they do. They do, and they're men. And I'm yeah, but uh, who buys them? Horny women. Yeah. Yeah. And then their husbands go. Honey, why'd you buy this calendar? I'm supporting the community, Dave. Yeah, it's good cover-up. Good cover-up. Because Dave doesn't know jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dave just goes, rah, rah, and then slugs a beer. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but am I wrong? Like, the first one said... Yeah, the first one. Sounds like it'll sell. The second one doesn't... Sounds like no. Has it? Yeah. He's really very interested in this project. <laughs> and I just have to say how... I'm just finding this whole thing just... So moving how so many men have come up to me and shown the interest and support for the calendar. I mean, people really do care about the boss sides. Oh. Oh, you, you, you can't drop out now. I wasn't wrong about you, was I, Roy? I thought you were special. I am! I'm so special. <laughs> I, no, I, let's do it. Let's go round up those grands. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. That's okay. Let's go round up those grands. Hi. Hi. You don't have to do this, you know, Roy. We could just get a proper photographer. Oh, no, I'm happy to do it. Okay. How's it going? Um, not a great start, I have to say. Of all the girls on seven, only nine have grands that are still alive. <laughs> of that nine, one is having a 
hip replacement on the day of the shoot. One is a little senile and may not know what's happening. And the last one, the last one has a gangrous arm. But she still wants to do it. So all I have to do now is hit the streets and find six old women that I've never met who would be happy to take all of their clothes off and let me take photographs of them. Good Why luck, sir. Yeah, Same reason that. I do everything, Jen. To have sex with a lady. <laughs> oh, look, they're down. That is what I like about old ladies. If you went, like, looking the way you did now, went up to a girl in her 20s, or your 30s, I don't know. I don't know what you would date besides me. So a girl in her 30s, I don't know. Did you just... <laughs> I'm your man! Okay, let's see. And you just <laughs> dissed the shit out of me! On camera! I just don't know what you would date besides me! Oh, you're 30. Okay, You lost all your looks already, you fucking clown. Okay, let's say you went up to a girl between, like, in the mid in the mid twenties, and was like, "Hey, can I take pictures of you naked?" She'd probably slap you. But if you went up to an old lady, or she'd say yes because you're hot. But I'm saying men in general. If a, any man were to go up to like a twenty year old, you're trying to like, cover your ass now. No, I'm trying to do this without insulting men. But I'm saying if you went up to like a young lady and said, "Can I take photos of you naked?" They'd probably be like, "No, go away." But if you went up to an old lady and was like, can I take photos of you naked? I bet they'd like laugh and be like, oh, oh, oh thank you, honey. You made my day. Like, I feel like that's what an old lady Yeah, yeah, say. that's, yeah, that's an old lady response. Yeah, they'd yeah. be like, oh, no, but I'm going to go home and I feel great now. Like, that's what an old lady would do. That's what I meant by that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure lots of women would want to take off their clothes. For them. They're not allowed to. Well, I only want one and I already got her, so. But that's what I was trying to get at, is old ladies are usually like, all right. Yep. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> I was like, why is she getting taller? I knew it was a chairlift. What? I said, do you want to be in a nude calendar? Do I want a calendar? No, no, no. Do you want to do a nude calendar? For charity. Oh, for charity. Oh, well, in that case, yes, I'll take it. Um, how much is it? No, 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 no. No. Do you want to do a calendar? Doctor's already changed my catheter. No, no. No. <laughs> I need you to take all your clothes off and have me take photographs of you. He's gonna, that's like, these two mob bosses I know, just walked say, in. They look like they're in a game or something. <laughs> oh, you remembered your own mom's birthday. <laughs> Hi, Jen, hi. <laughs> I just wanted you to know this calendar doesn't make a million pounds. <laughs> Look at the fucking pictures. It's just asses. Is it? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I didn't notice that. I'm holding you personally responsible. What? That's not very fair. I'm sad to say that the only secure route to a knighthood in this sorry age is via charity work. You can't do that, Mr. Renham. It wasn't my idea. Nonetheless, the idea came from your department, and as head of the department, it's your nuts on the block. Oh, Mr. Renham, I... Don't worry, Jen. Just make it as sexy as hell, and watch the money pour in. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Every page sexier than the last. Mr. Renan. Oh, no. Oh, grands. Grands aren't sexy. That's not going to make any money. What kind of society are we living in? <laughs> Jen, you just realized that? Come on. 
Well, he wasn't. She wasn't doing it at the beginning. At the beginning Apparently, we are living in the kind of society that sees a man who just wants to take naked photos of some old ladies <laughs> as some sort of weirdo <laughs> who deserves to be chased and shouted at and beaten <laughs> and chased. Did you tell them it was for the boss sides? Oh, I did. I did. I did tell them that, Jen, and you know what happened? They just laughed at me. <laughs> what? They just laughed at me, Jen. They don't care about the boss sides. Oh, 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 wait, wait. You know what? Maybe, maybe we should rethink the theme a little bit. Grands of the girls of the seventh floor. Such a mouthful. Why don't we just bring it back to girls of the seventh floor? You said it was sexist. Oh, pfft. It's empowering, sexist. How dare you be so patronising? Oh, no, you, no, 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 no. And, and you'd enjoy it, Roy. You'd enjoy it. I mean, yeah, you'd love to take those photos, wouldn't you? You'd enjoy taking those photos, I bet you would. Oh, yeah, you'd enjoy that a lot more. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hey, 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 hey. hey. I don't know, Jen. Oh, come on. No, no, you know, I don't think that Kimberly would like it. Oh. And I don't want to make any wrong moves there. I cannot blow this one. Kimberly is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And she hasn't really happened to me yet. <laughs> we are not going to make say. any money with grannies. Well, I'm back! I was wondering where he was. What? What do you mean? I'm back from holiday. <laughs> you were on holiday? Yes, I was on holiday. <laughs> oh, oh yes, that's yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. You didn't know I was on holiday. No, 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 no. We did. We did. Uh, where did you? Where did you go? You didn't know I was on holiday. <laughs> His feelings are hurt. <laughs> you know what? That actually reminds me. Like when I worked at a casino, because there's a lot of people that work there. Mm -hmm. Somebody went on vacation for like two weeks, and I didn't even notice. Yeah. And uh, they kind of like hinted, like, "Hey, I was on vacation." And I was like, "Really?" Yeah. And like, didn't because, you know, because I didn't care. Yeah. There's like 5,000 people that work at this place. <laughs> and there's like a big cafeteria. I just happened to be sitting there eating my food. Oh, you're on vacation. Cool. And just they were like, you didn't miss me? <laughs> right. So, I guess nobody was going up to him like, hey, how was your vacation? Yeah. Oh, we did. We did. Uh, we, we, we missed you. Mm. I've been gone a week. A week? Wow. Oh, my. Hmm. What? You know what's very in at the moment? I don't. Geeks. You lot. The whole nerd thing. Geek chic. It's very in. So? So it's a calendar that celebrates scientific achievement. <laughs> That's right. About time. <laughs> Think of it as an opportunity to reenact all of your favorite moments from the history of science. Oh, yes. <laughs> and maths. And maths. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Okay, are they all there? Yep. Yeah? So you've rounded up all your best looking friends. Yep. <laughs> Look at the okay, guy in Okay, remember, it's got to be sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so, if the rest of you want to take lunch, I'll do moss first. <laughs> Lasers. So I'll hold up the beaker like, ah, oh, I've discovered something. Exactly, yes. But what have I discovered? It doesn't matter. I <laughs> think it does a bit, actually. <laughs> um, OK, you have discovered nuclear bombs in a beaker. <laughs> You're right. It's surprising. So give me surprised. Yeah, that's it. And it's, it's confusing. <laughs> yes, you're confused. And you are afraid of the consequences of the discovery. Give me fear, fear. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I'd buy this calendar. Yeah, it wasn't fair. I was calendar. like, he's casting a spell on it. Like, I love it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. And if if you're hot or anything, Moss, maybe you could undo some buttons on your shirt. No, I'm all right, thanks, Roy. <laughs> 
me just undo your top button. Why? It's hot. It's a hot lab because of all the fusion. Fission? Fission. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Maybe just one more button. <laughs> okay. That's good. And maybe you could, uh... Maybe you could get down on all fours. Why? Because you had some microscopic nuclear things, and you dropped them. Oh, oh, big clubs. Oh, not me. Yeah. Oh. They're down oh, there somewhere. It's a pain. Oh, where are they? Yeah. Oh, oh, and you're, you're getting me. angry. Oh, well, I would. Yes, oh, it's because you can't find them. Oh, 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 you know oh, how you growl when you can't oh, find stuff? Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, <laughs> there are other people in the lab, and they're being so noisy. That's oh my god. I love it. I love it. So you want this calendar now? I do. A Moss calendar. So you can see Moss going. Yes. 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 And, and then it occurs to you that maybe you put your microscopic nuclear things in your back pocket. Oh, did I? Oh, oh. That's it. And why would they be there? And yet I put them there. <laughs> It's, it's strange. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You're working oh. hard. You know, oh. you're tired. Oh, well, I've been busy. Yeah. Oh, and they're being noisy again. Shush, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's me. good, boss. Yeah. I don't know how they even shot this. Thing. Okay, so just give me a. <laughs> right. This has got to be one of those scenes where they must there have had. So many blue they had to do so many takes because they couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> like I would, in, if I was doing something like that, I would not be able to keep a straight face. Under any circumstances. No. A cheeky sort of, I've been a naughty boy, look. <laughs> but I've just solved Fermat's theorem. Yes, but you solved it in a way that the stuffed shirts of the time would have found very naughty. Am I Fermat? Because if I am, these clothes are wrong. <laughs> It's, it's, you're more, you're, you're a naughty mathematician. Roy, you, you, you're doing it wrong. The, the lighting is all wrong. The pictures are going to be very gloomy, Roy. This whole setup is inadequate. It's a celebration. You've just discovered penicillin. <laughs> Why are our tops off? I always take my top off when I'm celebrating. Don't you? Oh, yes, most, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Cavort! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, thank God for all that penicillin. <laughs> yeah. Touch each other in the celebratory way. Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's it. I'm uh, rough That's good. Okay. Nice. Nice. That's it. So I'm, I'm a bit more shorter like that. It should be stopped, but we can only do so with your help. That's right. We're looking at you. Thank you. I just wanted to say a few words. Hey, That's come on. People will what see it last. That this. Is <laughs> this is exciting, isn't it? Ready Ministry's first sexy new charity calendar. Come on, Goofy. We want to see the calendar. <laughs> I can't wait. I hereby announce that speech over and the calendar. Ready to go. <laughs> and I think I speak for all men here when I say I can't wait to get that box open and feast my eyes upon its sexy contents. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be so disappointed. Maybe he'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Someone's played an awful prank. 
There's nothing here but gloomy pictures of morons. No, no not morons. Geeks. Um, they're sexy now. You know, geek chic. Geek chic? I want to tear my eyes out. <laughs> this is horrible. Horrible! <laughs> this is your fault. It was Roy's idea. You oh. did. I wouldn't buy this, and it's an aid of me. I didn't do it. I'm talking to her. It's hard to tell with your mad eyes. Sorry we're late. Oh, here are the calendars. Hey. Brilliant. Oh, so great. We're on a calendar. Box fresh. <laughs> Yay. They deserve this. There goes the entire audience for our calendar. And they got it for free. <laughs> Um, oh! Roy, I don't care that no one liked the calendar. That was the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. Really? Really. Oh! Something's gonna happen. Don't mess it up, Roy. Don't Something's mess it up. Happen. Wait, there's a shadow coming in. The doctor's already changed my calendar. <laughs> Roy, what's wrong? Oh, no. <laughs> no, his own brain is messing it up. Oh, no. Oh, God. The doctor's already changed my character. <laughs> Boy, what's wrong? Uh, what? Nothing. Uh, no, I'm... Don't let me stop the kissing. Let's... <laughs> That was the best one. That was the best one. <laughs> <laughs> He's scarred. Oh, wait, are you okay? Hmm? I'm just fine. Let's... Oh. Mm. Mm. Cavort! <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Mm. Cavort! You're, you're doing it wrong. The doctor's already mm. changed <laughs> Right. What is it? Kimberly? It's not gonna work out. <laughs> Boo! I know. I wanted him to clap Poor some cheeks. Roy. Don't say that. That is not a nice thing to say. <laughs> Why? Don't say that. It is making love. Not making clapping love? cheeks. Okay? <laughs> Wait, say it one more time. No, I'm not going to say No, say again. the whole thing. It no. Is, it is making love and not... Not clapping cheeks. <laughs> say <it> louder. No. <laughs> you said it so great. No. <laughs> oh, I love you. I like this one. That one was funny, yeah. Did you buy a geek sheet calendar? Huh? I think a geek sheet calendar is a good idea. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's over. <gasps> Season three is in the books. <laughs> the hilarious episode. That was a really good one. The only bummer for me was I wanted to see Roy. I think get Roy's some. a nice guy. He deserves. Like, I think a he is too. Or... I think Although Moss is too. Sesh. Oh, I love Moss. You know who I think is not nice is Jen. No, she's not. No. She's funny. She's a good. She's character, funny though. though. She's she's great. Great character, but she is not a nice person. I do think that's funny. They went from like, oh, we should do like a. Fun run to let's be naked in a calendar. Yeah. And they all were like, yeah. Actually, I, re I want to revise what I just said. I think mm -hmm. Roy is like, he has potential. Mm -hmm. He does say some things that are fucked up sometimes. Um, Moss, on the other hand, I think is a super yeah, I think nice guy. Super cool. Yeah. But um, <gasps> the last action Moss got was Roy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put him up to the yeah. <laughs> when they were trying to invade the cops, and he was like, "Quick!" Um, but yeah, that's that was a really good episode. That photo shoot was hilarious. That was so funny. Oh my god! 
I thought for a second there, like midway through, when he was like trying to convince all the old ladies to do a photo shoot, yeah. that we were going to see some pretty uh, naked ladies, pretty strange photo shoots with the old ladies. Yeah, but the way it worked out was pretty funny. Yeah, that was really funny. And uh, I knew Douglas would be upset because you know he wanted to say. He wanted to see his, his he, wanted, he wanted to see some ass. Classy pictures of ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is in his office. Yeah. I think one of the episodes, if I remember right, I think one of the episodes we saw him put up those pictures in his I remember office. the tennis one. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, another good season. I'm well, proud of Adrian. We got through two I know. shows today. Yeah, well, she interrupted in the last one, but yeah. we just brought her in for the last five minutes. But this one, no, she stayed... She didn't even cry, she just woke up. Yeah, this one she stayed pretty much... Uh... I only knew she woke up because I heard her eating her hands. <laughs> yeah. She went... <laughs> yeah, she loves eating her hands right she now. She does. Well, we hope you enjoyed the reaction, Boomerites. It's on Thanks, season guys. four from here on out. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And again... I open this episode. I'm going to do some little editing in the beginning to mm -hmm. uh, show them my uh, technical difficulties that I had oh. with the last one, which they've already seen. But uh, that'll be a little fun to do a little different type of intro. But for anyone watching, if you ever have any uh, tech advice, go ahead and uh, message me on Instagram or something, because sometimes I need it. And... Um, it's just that this U.S. because it's like with this computer, it's it's great. I love it. I love the setup. It's uh, it's grand. It's almost intimidating because it's I've never intimidating. I've never had a setup like this before. I'm scared to even Google something on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, but it's it, it's which is it's really cool. But like every like week or so, like a new problem. Po pops up and i'm like yeah i didn't even change anything and it's like changing it i feel like it has a mind of its own and it's changing settings on me all the time it does it's ai you know Whew. pretty soon this thing's just gonna get up and like uh, go over to the bed and like poke me and be like wake up it's time to do stuff it's so bright well yeah that's because of the lights it hurts my eyeballs. but uh it makes it makes I was going to say it makes us look better, but in actuality, it makes you look better, Queen Girl. Oh, no. But anyway, we got to go. Remember to like, subscribe, and do whatever you guys want. And we'll see you next time, Boomerites. Take care, everybody.